It's my very great pleasure to welcome you to the University of Manchester and to the splendid surroundings of the Whitworth Hall for this graduation ceremony. It's rather a special ceremony insofar as it's the first in the 100 year history of the School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences to fill this Whitworth Hall in its own right. And it certainly is full. I would especially like to welcome our graduands uh, whose hard work and magnificent achievements we honor uh, today. May I also welcome the family and friends of our graduates. I imagine that many of you have traveled a long distance to join this celebration today. We welcome you to the university and we thank you for your help and the support and encouragement that you have given to our graduates during their studies. The University of Manchester is the UK's largest. It was created in 2004 by the merger of UMIST and the Victoria University of Manchester. And it represents, I think, the best of both worlds. Our newness allows us to be innovative and creative. But the university has inherited a rich legacy of scholarly achievement educational excellence, research performance, and cutting edge innovation and enterprise stretching back for more than 175 years. This impressive combination of freedom uh, and a great history is uniquely empowering. And it is our ambitious plan to lift Manchester into the first rank of virtuosity in higher learning. In short, to be one of the top 25 years to universities worldwide by 2015. And progress is being made. For example, research income has grown by 40% over the past three years. And this year, Manchester was awarded more UK Research Council grants than any other university in the kingdom. 
At the very core of this new vision is a commitment to the highest standards in research and scholarship, as demonstrated by the graduates here in the hall today. Another outcome of the merger is the transformation of the campus through a huge capital investment program, resulting so far in the provision of over 400 million pounds worth of new state-of-the-art buildings and facilities. In addition, this year, or I suppose last year, you would say the School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences completed its first year in its new location in the Stockford building, uh, and that part of the building was rebuilt and renovated at a cost of 20 million pounds. Without doubt, we now have the best facilities of any school of pharmacy in the UK, and maybe beyond. The school's research is dedicated to improving aspects of the design, development, and use of medicines and spans three major research themes. Drug design and action, drug delivery and pharmacokinetics, and drug usage and pharmacy practice. Some of you receiving postgraduate degrees today will, I hope, have contributed to this research, research which brings real benefit to all of us in our everyday lives, and which also serves to enhance our undergraduate teaching. You don't need me to remind you of the enormous changes that have taken place in the first 60 years of the UK National Health Service and the increasingly important role that pharmacists are playing in sustaining the effectiveness of that service, not only in dispensing medicines, but also in dispensing advice and support. And I very much hope that you, as you start your careers, are able to employ the knowledge and skills that you've learned here so as to respond to the ever-changing challenges that will face you, face you, either as practicing pharmacists or as research scientists. As graduates of the University of Manchester, you're joining a distinguished Hall of Fame. No fewer than 22 of our former staff and students have, become, have gone on to become Nobel Prize winners. And today our graduates can be found in top positions in business, politics, education, and the arts. Indeed, one of your alumni, Steve Churton, has recently been elected as president of the Royal Pharmaceutical Society of Great Britain. Having studied here at the University of Manchester, your job prospects are second to none because employers all around the world recognize the value of the piece of paper that you will soon be holding in your hand. Indeed, Manchester is ranked as, fifth, as the fifth most preferred university in the world from which to recruit graduates. At the end of this ceremony, you're going to join about 212,000 University of Manchester graduates living in around 200 countries. And as these, your new alumni, we hope you'll be able to help the university and future students in many ways. For example, as ambassadors of the university, maybe in student placements and employment, and directly in the development of the university, which is absolutely vital to its future. So please don't make today your last contact with the university. Keep the alumni office regularly updated of your plans, your addresses, your news, achievements, we hope, and reminiscences. So on behalf of the university, I congratulate all of you who are graduating here today on your excellent academic achievements, and I wish you every success in your future career. Thank you. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, 
Nur al Din Subi Atatra. Michael David Barton. Gemma Louise Brown. Howard Burt. Sao Yan Amy Chung. Martin Eastwood. <laughs> Melissa Kathleen Friswell. <laughs> Laura Knight. Aniv Majid. <laughs> Ivan Matthews. <laughs> Claire Louise Rodriguez. Ankana Saubapa Kieran. <laughs> Benjaporn Sethabupa. <laughs> Rumeng Wang. Yuan Yu. <laughs> Yang Wan Yu. <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Science in Pharmaceutical Engineering, Mark Rhys Jones. And for the degree of Master of Pharmacy with honours, Mariam Sakina Abang Abdullah. <laughs> Fatima Abba. <laughs> Awais Afzal. Abu Bakar Agavi. <laughs> Angela Agawal. <laughs> Sana Ahmad. <laughs> Riaz Ahmed. Sumeya Ahmed. <laughs> Adiemi Adito Kumbo Akinsiana. <laughs> Wabul Albusari. Saida Mumtaj Ali. <laughs> Abir Nizar Al Aliabi. <laughs> 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 
Tom James Antrobus. <laughs> Alan Bird Smith. <laughs> Christopher George Beck. <laughs> Rachel Helen Beasley. Margaret Elizabeth Bell. Diane Michelle Bergen. Kareen Aviva Bond. Jessica Brown. Rory Ewan Buckingham. William Eric Burin. Alu Watoyin Razidat Busari. Aaron Patrick Carlisle. Wan Yin Chan. Diana Kayan Chan Leong. <laughs> Viren Chuan. <laughs> Hong Guang Ronald Chiang. Jennifer Chu. <laughs> Kitty Yan Yi Chu. <laughs> Stephen Peter Cochran. Lucy Victoria Corner. Andrew Craig. Susan Jane Dentith. Roxana Esmail Desmouk. <laughs> Athanase Josu. <laughs> Rebecca Dodd. Gemma Rachel Donovan. Georgina L. Amanda Christina Errington. Jinomso Azika. Alex Martine Farmer. <laughs> oh.
Umar Rizwan Fiaz. <laughs> Hoi Ching Stephanie Fung. <laughs> Lauren Jane Gaskell. Bavana Gorazia. Asha Marie Gray. Heather Green. Rachel Greensides. <laughs> Samira Habibi. <laughs> Adam Hamer. Zara Hamrang. Imran Hak. Faisal Hak. Sulman Hassan. Christopher Martin Hatton. <laughs> Rebecca Claire Haxel. <laughs> Victoria Rose Heald. <laughs> Claire Stephanie Holt. Sarah Lee Hower. Charlotte Marie Hyde Lineker. Nizat Iqbal. Abia Itraki. <laughs> Junaid Izar. <laughs> Asia Jamil. Beverly Wambui Kabuya Muto. <laughs> Anna Kafkalias. <laughs> Shilan Aziz Nuri Karim. Trak Tan Kuang. <laughs> Ruth Wanjuro Kiari. <laughs> Michelle Catherine Karain. Tat Yim Lam. (Applause) 
Maeve Kathleen Largy. Mairead Mary Larkin. Anthony David Lawrenson. Hugh Tung Lee. Wei Su Lee. Claire Lenekin. Kate Charlotte Littler. Peter Liu. Victoria Suk Mun Lo. Salma Maboud. Craig Marsh. Catriona Murray McManaman. Sebastian James McNeely. Jill Helen Messenger. Gemma Dawn Miles. Catherine Marie Millington. Bavika Mystery. Adele Mott. Janat Jasim Muin. Gulam Mula. Rachel Louise Murphy. Mubacha Mustak. Wasim Nawaz. Rachel Faye Norris. Maureen Obatomi. <laughs> Patricia Murray O'Brien. <laughs> Kate O'Horan. Monica Alcina Del Molino. <laughs> Kulwant Singh Panasar. <laughs> Catherine Jane Parkhill. Saul Parkinson.
Rashida Parveen. Sadia Parvez. Bhavina Patel. Muhammad Hanif Patel. Nilofa Patel. Christopher James Pearson. Umar Pervez. Charlotte Peters. Alan Jeffrey Physic. Catherine Murray Pitt. Richard Puri. Sadia Raja. Ikra Riaz. Charlotte Rigby. Daniel Robinson. Anna Rossiana. <laughs> Robina Rowley Conwy. <laughs> Ramish Sadiq. Adam Gamal Sala. Mariana Sam. Sruti Sangani. Poppy Marie Savage. Claire Schofield. Yassar Shabir. Priya Shah. Gofran Shanan. <laughs> Vines Singardia. <laughs> Lok Ki Xiao. Jennifer Elizabeth Smith. <laughs> Hui San Tan. <laughs> Fei Wun Tan. Caroline. 
fine toy. Ufoma Eva Upimimo. Krishna Vara. Elizabeth Ann Vernon. Helen Frances Wade. Ahmed Waza. Kimberly Ann Williams. Gary Wang Yui Wong. Zi <laughs> Hang Wong. <laughs> Wei Fei Young. Tak Wei Yu. <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Pharmacy with honours, Indigit Kaur Kahira. Shuma Mahmood. Now I'm going to read the affirmation, so I'd like all the newly qualified Master of Pharmacy graduates to please stand during the affirmation. And at the end of the affirmation, I will ask you to repeat the words, I so affirm. I affirm that I will make the care of my patients my first concern, treat every patient politely and considerately. Respect patients' dignity and privity. Listen to patients and respect their views. Give patients information in a way that they can understand. Respect the rights of patients to be fully involved in decisions about their care. Keep my professional knowledge and skills up to date. Recognize the limits of my professional competence. Be honest and trustworthy. Respect and protect confidential information. Make sure my personal beliefs do not prejudice my patient's care. Act quickly to protect my patients from risk if I have good reason to believe that I or a colleague may not be fit to practice. Avoid abuse of my position as a pharmacist. Work with colleagues in the ways that best serve patients' interests. In all these matters, I will never discriminate unfairly against my patients or colleagues. I will always be prepared to justify my actions to them. Please repeat after me, I so affirm. I so affirm. Appreciate it. 